Brad's not making the team. He's the 12th man on our list, and to be honest, your skills aren't good enough compared to the other players on our team. You won't be playing a lot, but we will work with you every day and meet with you after practice to discuss your skills and what you need to improve on. I knew from the last day of trials that I was not one of the kids who we truly wanted to put time and effort in when it came into investing in players. On the first day of practice, not only did we not talk about my skills or what I need to work on, um, he didn't really speak to me about my development as a player. Instead, when I approached him and I asked him what I could do to get better, he, um, he responded by telling me to work on help side defense, you know, getting faster and a bunch of other excuses like that. And he didn't give me any help with those tasks. Know. And I asked him a few more times, and the answer responses were the same. And the last response he gave me was, was that he told me I had to deal with being the 12th man. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> and I got a game tomorrow. You got a game tomorrow? Yeah, I got a game tomorrow, man. So why are you out here? Why are you doing this? I mean, I'm out here doing this because at this point, I'm, I'm focused on getting better. Um, you know, besides all the fact, you know, being the last man on the bench, there's a lot of things. You can't control, you can't control, you know. I can't control whether the coach puts me in or not. You know, that's his decision. I can control how good of a player I want to be. And I know, in my eyes, I want to be the best player that I can be. So regardless of whether I get in or not, I'm going to do the best I can to be the best player that I can be so I can beat everybody else in the chart. Whether the coach doesn't like it or not, I'm going to make everybody else see. So me busting my behind out here on this track late at night, you know, even though I got a game tomorrow, yeah, I know I'm not going to play, but it don't matter. I'm not worried about playing. I'm worried about becoming a better player, you know. This is just high school for me. I got bigger and better things to do. And on top of that, I'm trying to be the best player that I can be, no matter what. So I know if this is one of the deficiencies, me being out of shape, you know. If I got to stay, I'm going to find a way to stay in shape. And this is how you stay in shape, regardless of whether you play or not. So. I went to the gym three times a day put up at least 500 shots a day. Hey, never mind. I ran most of the time. So I tried to find a way to be every, beat everybody else in order to make the coach notice me. And to overcome some of the obstacles I face, such as favoritism. To make matters worse, favoritism was apparent. You can see it through the conversation the coach had with players, how he treated certain kids in practice. And even during our film sessions, he only focused on certain players on our team, pulling them off to the side to tell them something about what they did wrong. This became frustrating for the seniors, because not only did we not play, 
But now, we weren't being fairly coached. There was no room for us to grow. Initially, as much as I hurt to not play, and notice the coaches favor certain individuals, the concept of favoritism was no surprise to me. But as a player, this was a reality check. Favoritism is everywhere, even within the classrooms at our schools, sometimes even the relationships we build. We choose certain people over others. This wasn't AAU where you could play with multiple teams at once or leave one team and go play for another. This was high school basketball. There was no leaving team and going to another. And if you did, many times you ended up transferring schools, sitting out for a year, and ended up in the same position. The choice for me was to be all odds against me or to quit my high school team. I have no intention of making my coach or the Cam basketball program look bad. This is about a kid trying to be our eyes, because it's bigger than Cam basketball. Heart, soul, and determination. The maker of who I am. Besides, what I have been through this year and my entire life. Not playing, the injuries, the setbacks, the struggle itself can overwhelm a person. But our failures do not make up who we are. You are the hero of your own story. We determine what we want to be our beginning, middle, and end. At the 12th match, I chose to work hard throughout my season because I wanted to get better as a play. Even when the coach did not take notice of my improvement, others did. Being the 12th man of the team is just as if, if not more difficult than being the star on the team. I'd have to say, bad sub. Uh, senior night, I went in very happy. It was against Wayne Memorial the previous game. I played really good against them. And I was like, we lost. I was looking to go out and get the uh, victory on our home court on senior night. And then I started off playing really well. And then out of nowhere, you just, I got sad and didn't play that much. But. Omar Ali. Use one word to describe your season. I would say um, inconsistent. Uh, well, senior night, um, I went in during the second quarter. Uh, I got a short burst of playing time, but you know I try to I try to give them my all playing on defense, you know, guarding their best player. Um, so I just took that opportunity and really tried to uh, show show to the coach that I can to go a lot a lot harder. Um, you know, I just did uh, little things that I believe that could uh, give me more playing time and, and stuff like that. So. JD, use one word to describe your season. Let's say different. You could say unconventional. Uh, playing time was up and down, but I mean it was really just for the team. So I was down with whatever. Senior night is an important night for the seniors. The seniors get recognition from everybody in the gymnasium. And on top of that, it's their night to shine. Unfortunately, just like my fellow seniors. There is somebody who also can kind of see you night the wrong way. Introducing Hu Zhang. I mean, just trying to beat Logan's ass in practice. Oh, I was disappointed. I was disappointed in my coach. Why is that? It's because it's a senior night and I'm supposed to be senior. I'm the only senior. And we was up at 22, the game. It was against, I think Churchill. Oh, it hurt, like, for real, like, I, I, I literally said it to Coach, like, go, Jim, I literally said it to him, that, like, after season. <laughs> it was, oh, I'm so sorry. I, I, I meant to go in, but like, so, somehow I forgot. Like, what the fuck you mean? He forgot. <laughs> By the time senior night came and we did not play, I realized what had to be done. I refused to quit or to give up. I grew up inspired by guys like Kobe, who not just had a passion and a love for the game, but an endless will to become the best player they could be. There's more like him out there, and I call these guys the old heads. Because when the opportunity presents itself, just like them, I must be ready to step up to the plate and take it home.
the old heads, the ones who live for the, the grit, the grind, the hustle, the blood, the sweat, and the tears. Not everyone gets to be the hero, but you can be the old head, because you are the person of your own story, so you decide where you want to go. Too small, too slow, too weak, not skilled enough, lacks confidence, would ever make the pros or reach victory I suppose. Sadly, they believe I should let it go. What if I told you? This game has taught me to believe in myself and the, and the skills as a player. See, they won't ever know I played a game with a broken foot or won a national championship. Put me on the end of the bench, cut me from the team, and tell me my skills aren't good. Because no matter where I go, this game will always be a part of me. You can never break my spirit because I love the game. that Utah series. And Bryant off the crossover had a clear pass. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do anything because nobody's defeated until defeat has been accepted as a reality.